So your mom thinks it's a good idea for me to have a conversation with you about the birds and the bees. I literally want to pass out just thinking about it, but I figure let's have the conversation just to get it out of the way. I've already learned all the stuff from kids at school, but I'll let you walk me through it anyway. So I know absolutely nothing about anatomy or biology or psychology, but for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to pretend that I have a PhD in all three. I'm going to sit here and not look at you the entire time because I fear that if we lock eyes at any point during this conversation, one of us might explode from embarrassment. I agree. So I'm actually going to pick a spot on the floor and just try to stare at it. And the only thing I'm going to get right on my explanation is the part when I talk about how I love having sex with your mom. I'm literally scarred for life now. Yeah, I recognize that this conversation went completely off the rails. So I'm going to say something about going to cook dinner so I can get out of this room as fast as humanly possible. Okay, and then I'm going to get online as soon as you leave and tell all of my friends how you just told me about having sex with mom. Well... This birds and the beast chat went really, really badly. Horribly. Hey dad, I know you were kind of a loser in middle school, but I still need to ask you how to ask out girls because I can't ask my friends because they don't know. You're right, I was. Being a section leader for the trumpet didn't get me very far with the ladies, but I'm gonna tell you a long story that's half made up about my dating prowess in middle school. I don't believe you, so I'm gonna ask you to name names. Right, I'll make up half of them, and maybe I'll give you a couple real ones too. I'm just hoping that you don't ask my other friends at the Christmas party to back up those stories. I'm gonna ask your old friends at the Christmas party. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna have to walk back my story a little bit. I'm gonna tell you it's all about how nice of a person you really are. That's what really matters. <sighs> I can tell you know nothing about dating, so I'm just gonna say thanks, pat you on the shoulder, and then just figure it out on the internet. Hey, son. I'm incredibly nervous to have a real deep conversation with you about how puberty is actually going. So instead, I'll ask you an awkward question about how your shoes are fitting. Oh yeah, I know exactly where this conversation is going and I'm not saying anything, so. Yeah, that's plain to see. But you know, your mother wants to know what's going on and she's too embarrassed to ask about the potential hair in your private region. So someone has to ask. Yeah, not telling you. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm gonna let you know what I experienced as a young man going through puberty. I'm trying not to vomit in my mouth. I can see that. So I'm gonna wrap this up real quick by telling you that your testes are about to drop. You're gonna get a lump in your throat and you're probably gonna to wanna to start touching your penis a lot. All right, bye. Thanks, Dad. I'm completely traumatized by this conversation. Good night. Well, this Birds and the Beast chat went really badly. Horribly. All right. Well, this Birds and the Bees chat went really, really badly. Horribly. All right. Well, this chat went as badly as it possibly could have. Horribly. All right. Well, this Birds and the Bees chat was as bad as I imagined it could possibly be. Horribly.